everybody, it's Miss Amy, and I'm here with another episode of Music Time. Now, if you've been watching Music Time over the last couple of weeks, you know that I've been hunting around my house and looking for all these strange instruments I have, either in the house or in my garage. But today, I have a surprise. The instrument that you're going to hear about was not one that I found in my house. I know that's a surprise. Now, you probably see that I have a mask here, and I'm gonna put it on in just a couple of seconds because the person who has this instrument is a guest, and I wanna make sure that we're extra safe and that we maintain our six feet distance and that we've got our masks on. So, are you ready to hear this instrument? It is the bagpipes. and he plays the bagpipes. Now, he's gonna teach us a lot about these, but I wanted to say one thing very important. When I wanna learn about a new topic, one thing I can do is I can go to the library and check out a book about the topic, and the other thing I can do, and that you can do, is that you can find somebody who's an expert on the topic and ask them some questions. So that's what I'm gonna to do today with my friend Josh. So Josh, my first question is, how young were you when you learned how to play the bagpipes? I was nine years old. And who taught you? I learned uh, with the Doonery Bagpipe Band. They practiced in Evergreen Park, and uh, they actually are still around today. They practice now in Orland Park. And is there anybody else in your family that plays the bagpipes? Actually, my father um, plays the pipes, and we actually learned together. When I was nine years old, I wanted to learn how to play the pipes, and uh, my dad he said that that sounds interesting. And so he learned too, so we went together. Now, can you tell us a little bit about where or what country the bagpipes originate from? Um, so the Highland pipes originate from Scotland and Ireland, and um, that's where you find them. But you'll find bagpipes all over the world today. In fact, there's, there's definitely different styles of bagpipes as well. Like in Bulgaria, they have Bulgarian bagpipes. They sound way different and other countries have various forms of pipe, bagpipes as well, but the ones you see in parades and are familiar with are mainly the Scot Scottish and Irish pipes. Now, when I look at this instrument, I see a lot of parts and pieces, and I don't know what they all do. So can you give us like a play-by-play -play of how you actually produce this beautiful sound from the <laughs> instrument? Sure. So the loud hum you hear it's in the background noise is the... Uh, Right here, the drones, there's a bass drum and two tenors. And then the, um, the really big sound that you hear, the really loud uh, one, is actually from the chanter. And there's about a one inch reed in the chanter. And uh, that's what you make that loud noise that sometimes people cover their ears for. Um, and uh, then you just have the finger holes and that's how you play. And then you have the blow pipe that is attached to the bag. And the bag is what makes bagpipes work. It uh, allows you to you blow air into and fill the bag, and then you squeeze, and then as you squeeze, you take a breath. And then it's just a, a cycle of huffing and puffing, and then you squeeze, and then you're able to take a breath. And that's, uh, you're able to play the tune and have a solid tune the whole way through. All right, can you play us a little something on there so we can really hear it? Sure. You guys, you might recognize this ditty. fans very very happy Josh thank Excellent. you well Josh has a lot of songs memorized and so I've asked him to play a more traditional song and he's going to give you the title of it and give you a little bit of the background behind it go ahead Josh sure one of my favorite tunes is called the farewell to the creeks and so that was uh, written by a person from Scotland who actually fought in World War one and uh, back in those days they had bagpipe brigades and so they would bring bagpipes with them to war. 
and he was captured by the Germans and imprisoned in a POW camp, and he was kind of a heckler to the Germans, and um, he actually, but he made it out alive, and um, he wrote this tune um, about his experience. and I hope you guys enjoyed that too. I wanted to let you know that if you really like the bagpipe music, there is an app called Hoopla that you can sign into using your library card and you can search bagpipe music and you would have this style of music right at your fingertips on your phone or on your tablet or on your computer at home. The other thing I wanted to mention is that if you've missed any of the videos that we've put out over the last couple of months, you can visit our YouTube channel and get all of the ones that you may not have seen yet. So I want to say thanks again to Josh for joining me. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon.